Happy Fantastic Friday Owls. It's Miss Rankins here, ready to read you your morning story. This morning, we're going to read The Other Side by Jacqueline Woodson. That summer, the fence stretched through our town seemed bigger. We lived in the yellow house on one side of it, and white people lived on the other side. And Mama said, don't climb over that fence when you play. She said it wasn't safe. That summer, there was a girl who wore a pink sweater. Each morning, she climbed up on the fence and stared over at our side. Sometimes, I stared back. She never sat on the fence with anybody. That girl did. I wonder if that girl has a name. Once, we were playing jumping rope. She asked if she could play. And my friend Sandra said no, without even asking the rest of us. How rude. I don't even know what I would have said. Maybe yes, maybe no. That summer, everyone and everything on the other side of that fence seemed far away. When I asked my mama why, she said, because that's the way things have always been. Sometimes when me and mama went into town, I saw that girl with her mama. She looked sad sometimes, that girl did. Don't stare, mama said. It's not polite. It rained a lot that summer. On rainy days, that girl sat on the fence in a raincoat. She let herself get all wet and act like she didn't even care. Sometimes I saw her dancing around in puddles, splashing and laughing. How many of you have played in rain puddles? Mama wouldn't let me go out in the rain. That's why I bought you rainy day toys, Mama said. You stay inside here where it's warm, safe, and dry. But every time it rained, I looked for that girl. I not always found her. Where did she find her? Somewhere near the fence. Someplace in the middle of the summer, the rain stopped. When I walked outside, the grass was down and the sun was already high up in the sky. I stood there with my hands up in the air. I felt brave that day. I felt free. I got close to the fence and that girl asked me my name. Clover, I said. My name's Annie, she said. Annie Paul. I live over yonder, she said, by where you see the laundry. That's my blouse hanging on the line. She then smiled. She had a very pretty smile. And then I smiled and we stood there looking at each other. Smiling. It's nice up on this fence, Annie said. You see all over. I ran my hand along the fence. I reached up and touched the top of it. A fence like this was made for sitting on, Annie said. She looked at me sideways. My mom says, I shouldn't go on the other side, I said. My mom says the same thing, but she never said nothing about sitting on it. Hmm, neither did mine, I said. Do you think she's going to sit on top of the fence? Let's find out. 
That summer, me and Annie sat together on that fence. And when Sandra and them looked at me funny, I just made believe I didn't care. Some mornings, Mama watched us. I waited for her to tell me to get down from that fence before I broke my neck or something. But she never did. I see you made a new friend, she said one morning, and I nodded and smiled at Mom. That summer, me and Annie sat on that fence and watched the whole wide world around us. One day, Sandra and them were jumping rope near the fence, and we asked if we could play. I don't care, said Sandra, and we jumped, and Sandra and me were friends the way we used to be. We were too tired to jump anymore. So we sat up on the fence, all of us in a long line. Someday, somebody's going to come along and knock this old fence down, Amy said. And I nodded. Yeah, I said, someday. And that is the end of our story. I hope that you enjoyed this unforgettable story about the power of friendship. I hope that you have a very happy Friday, that you are staying safe and staying well. Happy Friday, Alice.